Hey guys, good morning. The rationale of this video is to know how coffee flower blossoms. In India, Karnataka is the most popular state to grow coffee beans, spices and others. The most commonly used coffee beans are Arabica and Robusta grown in the western Ghats hills of Karnataka that is Sakleshpur, Chikmangalore and Kook. Conservation of water during summer is the biggest challenge for most of the coffee planters. Our coffee planters would spend their hard-earned money from coffee beans to dig up multiple bore wells, expand the existing lake beds or well. They would also use several methods to dump and pump the water into coffee plants. This takes a lot of efforts to do the irrigation during February to March. Sprinkler irrigation is almost similar to rainfall water drops. Drip irrigation is another method for irrigation and it is highly recommended to save water and minimize the evaporation. It requires four to five hours of time of irrigation to settle the water in coffee plant plants. Habitually, the irrigation would begin from the first week of February month for Robusta coffee and in March for Arabica plants. In turn, planters expect the first rainfall Revati Malay by March month end. However, our planters are smart enough to keep a close tab on dryness of coffee plants and the amount of shades required for their plants. If there is no rainfall, planters would prefer to follow the method called backing, which means second time irrigation for all the coffee plants. Typically, second time irrigation process should begin post 10 to 15 days of coffee blossoms. The art of irrigation is also a very crucial part to grow coffee beans by October or November month end. Trust me, managing coffee plantation is as difficult as how you take care of your own infant. And lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Yuraj Bihan from Biligaravalli Estate for giving me an opportunity to explain the method of coffee flower blossoms. Thank you for watching this video.